It was a shocking story that made national news. Hundreds of bodies taken out of their graves at Borough Cemetery in Alsip. The situation sparked the interest of filmmaker Naomi Kopbauer and her colleagues. They realized that an event like this affected more than just African Americans. That kind of dishonor to any, anybody's family is something that I think anybody from any background can, can relate to. After graduating in May 2011, Kopbauer connected with people who wanted to produce a documentary on what happened at Baroque. She started her media production company, Media Elixir, in September 2011. Two months later, her team began working on the film with donations from the public. Cemeteries aren't always newsworthy, so it's, it's not something that people will always necessarily say worthy of my, of my donation, but a lot of people did. And I think it speaks a lot to people's uh, belief in honoring history and heritage and tradition. Civil rights icon Emmett Till is buried at the historic African American Cemetery. He's one reason why Kopbauer and Cassetta Smith got involved in this film. The hope is that it will get people thinking about respect for their elders and ways to prevent this from happening again. Blatant disrespect that was shown um, to these people who, who you might not know their names personally, they might not be in history books, but they did play a role. Some people I spoke to who have loved ones buried at the Borough Cemetery didn't even know about this upcoming film, but they say it hope it creates awareness about the preservation and respect of the dead. When it was first uh, brought to me, I thought that this was an excellent idea, and I think that it should have been done a long time ago. Those that were affected by the scandal say they treasure their memories as they move on with their lives. If I can just find out, you know, if my mother's body is still there, or, and that's, that's sufficient enough for me. Those interested in telling their personal stories can find Media Elixir on Facebook. The film is expected to be released in the fall. For Metro Minutes, I'm Carolina Cruz.